Uh, seeing as we're on the topic, we might as well continue. Because yesterday was International World Toilet Day. And today on The Buzz with the Mestos, we're looking at the most high-tech toilets ever and what interest, or interesting purposes they actually serve. And it's actually quite interesting to see what, what people out there have actually done with it. People with genius minds, you know, have really put in their time to reinvent the toilet. And it's important. Well, I want to kick off with the world's most tech high-tech technological toilet. It's an American company that has created the ultimate gadget freak toilet, which it calls the Pimped Out John. Pimped now, I want this at home. I want this at home. <laughs> it comes with a 20-inch LCD TV, an Xbox a DVD player, a wow. gateway machine laptop, and a robot arm. Don't, don't ask a me. A robot arm? Yeah, don't ask me what that's for. Okay. An iPod docking station right. with its own toilet dispenser, a TiVo DVR so you can catch up on some espresso, and a refrigerator, <laughs> a beer tap. Wait, 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 wait. A refrigerator next to your, in your you box? Be a snack, you're gonna be there for a while. An exercise bike, and just in case you are there for a little longer, electric cup warmer. <laughs> the bathroom is the perfect place for your very own throne. And shouldn't you always have something like this, you know? Yeah, sure. I'm definitely wanting to have a refrigerator in my bathroom somewhere there. Not, come on, man. But it's called the Pimped Out John, so it's really cool. I want one of those at home. Yeah. I really, really do. Now, uh, dude, there's a megaphone there, there as well. So, what can you not? That, that's the question. What it's, can you not do? It's in this the bathroom? entertainment hub. There's something that Che Guevara used to do. Not many people do know this. That Che Guevara used to sit in the toilet by himself with his big family because you know he just wanted to hang around with it. You know, really. He wanted and some alone time. Helped him think about lots of stuff. All right. Revolutionary but stuff. When I was younger, I always thought there was something dodgy about that ABBA song. Waterloo. I really just thought there was something wrong with it. But now, I realized that it all served a greater purpose because it led the way to Bill Gates' waterless loo. Waterless loo, you know? Now it all makes sense because toilets aren't, you know, are, 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 are being taken on a whole new technological level, as we just said now. But totally. it's not all in the name of fun because it's really actually, it, it, we can address some serious problems. And the man who reinvented the computer has actually reinvented the loo. Former Microsoft CEO Bill Gates is uh, competing to develop the most effective waterless toilet in the world, right? Because toilets aren't extremely important, of course, for public health, and when you think of it, actually human dignity as well. And Gates, Gates said approximately 2.5 billion people across the world do not have safe sanitation. And uh, so what, what then he, he, he's planning to do is to invent a toilet that uses you no know, water. And the flush toilets we mm. use, uh, of, you know, he said that the flush toilets we use in the world are mm. ir irrelevant, impractical, impossible, and for 40% of the, of the global population, because there's, not wa there's no water supply there. So this, I think, is a great idea. Yeah, no, totally. And we should, what do we call that? The Watergate, right? The, water, the waterless Watergate loo. Scandal. Waterless loo. <laughs> um, yeah. EnviroLoo is a South African invention that's taken that concept a little bit further. It's a waterless loo program mm. happening on a local level, and it's called the EnviroLoo Initiative. It's winning the 100 Top Technology South African Award, wow. and the EnviroLoo is a dry sanitation solution that is relevant for urban and rural communities. So it's cheap to install. The EnviroLoo is a permanent installation that uses no chemicals and has zero environmental impact. It has a sealed unit that catches and treats the waste okay. through the natural process of dehydration, mm -hmm. so there's no water required, and evaporation, so you need some heat, with no contact or contamination of the waste to either the immediate or surrounding environment, so it's completely safe. Wow. The EnviroLoo requires no electricity or, or a power source to function, and it utilizes, you know, natural things like wind and sun. Wow. Mm -hmm. I believe a bro. I believe a bro. But check out this next one. It's going to blow your mind. It's called the toilet. Have you ever, have you ever heard toilet? Electricity. Toiletricity, that's another high-tech invention. They put like electricity and toilet together and they came up with that word. Exactly. Scientists from the from the Singapore Nyang, uh, it's called the Nanyang Technological University, um, have developed a toilet system that can convert solid human waste into fertilizer and electricity. Two very important Boom. things. Boom. That needs to go down. Could solve some serious problems. That it could solve some here. serious, serious problems. Are we still on? Are we still on? We need some toilet electricity. No. Well, excess electricity needed for the water treatment could be obtained from the very thing that dirties it in the first place. And so, so how the system works is that a solar-powered toilet collects waste material and the sun-powered system recycles water and breaks down oh. human waste into storable energy. Brilliant. Now, this waste eventually then generates hydrogen gas that could be harnessed into gas that uh, could be used for heating and cooking. How do you feel about that? I don't know, but cooking I think... Cooking with that? Um, no, it's going to be effective and it's, it's going to save us. We it's, need to change. It's environmentally friendly. Think differently. Now, this could be of huge benefit, especially in farming communities mm. communities with cattle, as it's been found that a, a herd of cattle, dung, right, can uh, be used to power a house for three weeks. Wow. Imagine that. <laughs> wow. I'm just thinking, how do you get them? The, do you get all the cattle to go into, like, the toilet? Newspapers. What? You need to use that pimped out John cattle on a pimped out John. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that right now you are thinking, oh my word, but you should actually be thinking, no, it's actually Omar of the week coming up now.
donate a toilet roll to an underprivileged school. Simply SMS your name and the words Brighter Future to 36810. Don't miss us. Clean a toilet, brighter future.